So today we're going to take a work from the Mahabharata, Arjuna, the mighty archer. And the word Mahabharata literally means great epic of the Bharata dynasty. And it's a popular TV show epic on Indian television if you ever get a chance to watch it. But it's eight times longer than the Iliad and the Odyssey combined. It's literally 100,000 Sanskrit couplets. And it talks about, tells the story of two rival families descended from the king named Bharata. Okay? The two families are the Kuravas, who are descendants of Kuru, and the Pandavas, the descendants of Pandu. And it was composed in the 4th century B.C., between the 4th century B.C. and the 4th century A.D. Now, there's no particular author you need to know for it, but the author is just a sage named Vyasa, which literally means compiler or arranger. And Arjuna is the main, one of the main characters in this uh, story. And what makes Arjuna different from all his other students is that he has more expertise with all his weapons, specifically his bow and arrow, and he's more devoted to his teacher or guru. And now the definition that you need to know with this work, we've seen before with the Iliad, is an epithet. A brief descriptive phrase that points out uh, a character's greatness. So the main details behind this story are that Dronus has assen- Drona has assembled all the Bar- Barada princes for a test. And the test is to shoot an artificial bird with an arrow after he finishes talking. And one by one he tests each one of the princes to see if he can see the bird, the tree, and Drona himself and the other princes. And all the other princes say they can see everything. And Drona scolds them and won't let them shoot. But when he tells S. Arjuna those same questions, he doesn't see them. He's learning to focus. And he only sees the bird's head. So when Drona realizes that Arjuna is focused, he allows him to shoot. And Arjuna hits the target. So we get to see here that Arjuna is a mighty archer because he can exclude everything else from his awareness and the other students are too distracted to hit the target. Next, Arjuna and the other princes are taken down to the Ganges by Drona, and Drona jumps in the river and is attacked by a crocodile. And Arjuna saves Drona and shows his superiority by killing the crocodile with his arrows sooner than all the other princes can take aim. And because Drona uh, Drona is so impressed with Arjuna's skills, his reward is giving him an invincible weapon, which is the Brahmin head. 